Hi, this is Cheryl for the Cut at Home Design Team. Today I have a fun graduation card. It features the Elizabeth Craft Design Accordion Star Die. Um, how fun is this? I just love how this goes together. I love my accordion dies. You've seen me use them before. This time I'm dealing with graduation. Um, I added my little graduation cap here in the corner to signify that. Added some sentiments at the bottom for my grad. Um, my thought was with the card is that when they see it, they'll just see the three stars. Um, from the back is where the personal messages go. So I've got um, added some white stars, at least one here with the sentiment. You could add more um, if you needed a lot of signatures or if you wanted to add some more information about the graduate about the event and that sort of thing you could do it but a very easy card to make and do um, let me show you the dies and and that sort of thing that were involved um, again the main die that i used here is the elizabeth craft designs star i'm sorry accordion star die um, it gives you this wonderful panel here to create however many pages you want that's the beauty of their accordion dies you can use as few as two pages to create a card or you can use um, as far as I know unlimited pages together to create an accordion book I've used 14 or 16 together um, and created a book with it so here with the star pattern very very cute everything you need is included in the packet it's got the basic page, so you cut one for every page you want. Um, it's got a background star that fits within this, layers very nicely, and then a dimensional star with all the scoring lines and everything intact that fits right inside that background star. There's also a tiny star here that you can use, for example, in the center of your dimensional star. So let's go back to the book for a minute. Let's just focus on this. Oops. Yeah, let's focus on this page. So again, I started out with my double-sided paper and the individual pages. Here you can see one of those pages cut. Um, it's got the two-sided paper. So it's important I cut three of these up front. Um, and I decorated them first. You have to decorate them first, otherwise, the dimensionality of the book makes it very, very difficult to decorate. So I added to this, um, this is sort of a super fine black glitter paper. So I added that on top. On top of that, I added the dimensional star. Again, the dimensional star comes with all of these score lines. Um, I've got this folded quite a lot here so you can see the star can be very very dimensional or you can flatten it out somewhat as I did here but yet retain some dimensionality I kind of flattened mine a little bit because I have some hope of mailing this card and in order to be able to mail it I can't have these really dimensional stars so mine are more flat but whichever way you choose to do it the die will do what you want it to do you just need to fold so when I was folding this I started by folding these center parts so from the point all the way to the center you want a nice fold on each of those points of the star and then once you get these folds done it's much easier to do the in-between folds and so just make sure all of those get done too. Again, your star is going to start out as being fairly dimensional, um, pretty high if you placed it on something, but you can flatten it from there. To attach it, I just added a little bit of the Angel Craft quarter inch adhesive at each of the points and pressed it into place on my black um, glitter paper. This, of course, was already attached to my center page. Um, now, I also needed to do my stamping. Um, I added a sentiment to the bottom of each page. My first one says, congratulations. The second one, enjoy the journey. 
and the last one just celebrate each of these was stamped um, I have a Tim Holtz stamp set here it's Stampers Anonymous um, it's I don't think there's any particular name let me see if I can find a name here I think they're just um, saying stuff is what it's called but there's a lot of nice sentiments here that would work for a graduation card or for numerous other cards good luck would have been great um, let's think um, hello friend um, you know again a lot of these would have worked on my graduation card but again I wanted them to pop a little bit so I heat emboss them I stamped them first in VersaFine Black Onyx ink and I used my Ranger Super Fine Clear Embossing Powder over the top and heat emboss them. I added these little stickers from Doodlebug. These are part of some graduation stars that they have available. They come in um, a set of black and white and silver and gold. So there were plenty of stars to complete my project here. You'll see that there's also um, a gold star here holding my tassel in place on the cap. And then I've added black stars to the center of my other dimensional stars on the card. So it's a super, super easy process. So everything gets decorated first before you begin to attach together. When you're decorating, you always make sure that this tab that's used to attach the pages is to your right, as is the tab that attaches the star. If you do that and decorate, everything will be just fine. I like to lay them out as I'm decorating one, two, three, so that I decorate them in order and get things where I want them to be. I do the same if I have a bigger book. When you attach them, you're just going to use the quarter inch Angel Craft tape. Again, it's a double sided tape. It's got a good adhesion to it, so it's going to stick where you need it to stick. You're going to place a strip of that along this edge, which you'll fold up. You'll also place a piece of it on your star. Um, when you put pages one and two together, your pages themselves go together with a valley fold. And then your stars go together with a mountain fold. So you can see they're just exactly the opposite of one another. Now when you transition and add the third page, I've got a mountain fold for my pages and a valley fold for my stars. The stars will go either way, as will the pages. But it's important to assemble in that way. That way you've got a book that works all the way through. And when I close up my book, the front gives me a nice decoration because I see a preview, excuse me, of those stars. And on the back, I see my last sentiment here, just celebrate. But I also see my personal messages now, the hugs, kisses, and graduation wishes. My thought was to sign the card on this star. Again, if I needed more space for signing or additional information, I've got the backs of all the other stars to work with here. So a fun, fun card to make. Super, super easy. Um, not really much to it. You can see I've used a fairly lightweight card stock here. It's just fine for the card itself. It's going to stand, no problems. It's going to ha handle the wear and tear and everything. If you were making a larger book out of this, you'd want to use a little heavier weight cardstock, though. So this is the Elizabeth Craft Design Star Accordion, excuse me, Accordion Star Die, um, the Lawn Fawn Stitch Square Die. This is the large stitch squares, the smallest of those. The tassel is the Spellbinders Victorian tassels. Um, the sentiments here are Tim Holtz, um, Stampers Anonymous, sorry, I lost my voice there for a minute. And um, the set name is called Say and Stuff. So it's a cute little set of Tim Holtz sayings. So, um, Enjoy your graduations this season. Think about doing a star accordion star card for your graduates. Thanks for watching. Bye.